My name is Dina Santillan and I'm a city commissioner here with the city of San Juan. And here today, Dina, you've been talking, you've had a, an event with the Rio Grande Valley Partnership promoting San Juan, all the great economic development yes. opportunities that are here. How well is San Juan doing? How much growth are you seeing at the moment? If you come by, all you need to do is do a visual. Drive by the city and it'll speak for itself. We have so many new developments, not only business-wise, but residential-wise. You drive through the expressway, even though it's busy in itself with its own construction, look to the frontage roads and you see the developments that are here. Those are already in development and ready to build. And we already have some property that is sold because we have some businesses we can't yet announce but they're already ready to come on in and start their development as well. We've talked about the corridor and the expressway, but we also, okay. So the north side has businesses we have out there. We have Raul Longoria, we have it down Erlene, we have 495, those are the main roads that we have on the north side. You drive by there, we absolutely have businesses out there, but we have so much property out there that is has yet to be untouched that's great for development and if you were to go out there you would understand see all the residents all residential areas that are there you'll see the businesses and the schools that have the great potential to bring in business to those potentials that want to come in and start a new life here I understand you've got a new park as well going yes on the we side. do on the north side we have, so if you drive by it's over off of Sioux Road and I Road, which is now veterans um, you drive by there so just a block east inside you'll see the development it'll come in a couple of phases but we'll have outdoor walking trails we're gonna we have plans for a splash pad and our plan is also to make it a, a safety zone for hurricanes as a shelter so that's what what we want to cater it's not only about providing you know those great sports and the outdoor complexes but the safety for our citizens and our community to make sure that if anything does happen we want to have those future plans in place our city is growing so it's not just about the businesses and the residentials but also making sure that our public work is able to have that new influx of uh, the new work and the what we need to to make sure that it's functioning we want to, got to make sure that they're ready as well on that side as uh, as well as the utilities utility needs to be ready so it's not just by coming in coming in coming in we have to make sure we're all well-rounded and we're ready to cater to these new businesses and cater to these new residentials to make sure that they are successful and like I said for the longevity of themselves as well. And uh, going back to the park on the north side at Sioux Road, what's the time frame? When will that be ready? We're hoping, hopefully in about a year and a half, it will take a while. We did, we're a little bit late on the startup, but it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be phenomenal. The renderings, you can see them online. They are great. It's so family friendly. And I've always talked about sometimes, you know, obesity and health is always an issue down here in the valley, especially with a high percentage rate what we have with diabetes and the hearts, the heart attacks and the strokes. So this just helps the city to provide another outing to make it family friendly and still emphasize to live a healthy lifestyle. And what do you put all this growth down to? Why is San Juan growing so fast? I think it's not only that, it's not that we're in, that like our city manager said, it's not about being competitive with other cities, but it's also about being competitive within ourselves and making sure we're keeping up with the times that are changing. You know, the things aren't the same anymore. Through As the years gone by, things are just changing in all aspects. And I credit that a lot, the growth that we have to our city manager who has a dual hats, also as our EDC director, because he is our face of San Juan. Those he makes those contacts with our brokers with our developers and then he brings that back to the city and the EDC so we can all work collaboratively to make it a success and one of the statistics that sort of jumped out, of, out, out at me today was when they talk about a million visitors yes. visiting the Basilica but the people that come to the Basilica 80% of the money uh, they're going somewhere else to spend it. Yes. So that's some, a big So that is the goal. That is the goal that we have. How are we going to keep those people here, shop here, spend their money here, and spend some time in the city and see the great and glorious things that we have to offer, visually and also shopping-wise and eateries? So that is our goal to work on, to make sure to keep those people here and explore our wonderful city and all the opportunities it has for them as well. Last question, we saw an incredible video yes. of what the downtown area is going to be along Nebraska. Um, how excited are you about the potential for that um, and for the, the citizens of San Juan to enjoy that? Being born and raised in the city of San Juan, I have seen how it's grown, how it's changed. But like I said, we've also had to modernize. So it's great to see where we started 
the original city hall will be mixed into the new fire station that we're working so we're not losing that area it's going to be all encompass one but it's great to see the new city hall the modernization and also the fact that we're growing we just don't fit in that song building no more so we have to move with the change and that's what we're going to do and that's what the development and that new building is going to do it's not only for the current growth we have but it also has for the potential and future growth of what our city has yet to come Dina, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the partnership, for the collaboration, because it's also about you know sharing ideas and how can we improve. It's not just about the great things we've done, but how can we make our city better to welcome people here, not only business-wise, but residential. And we're always welcome to criticism, but at the same time, we're here to help, we're here to incentivize, and we're here to do what we can to make sure our city remains and will always be the friendly city. Thank you so much. For thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day.